is Monica Dorsey, and I am the creator of Who Do Stuff. Thank you all for coming out tonight and supporting us this Black Friday for our Black History Family Trivia Night. We're gonna have a good time tonight. We have lots of wonderful prizes from our very generous sponsors. I wanna give them a huge thank you again for supporting us tonight. I also want to welcome anyone that's coming in and watching on our replay. Even though you're not here live, of course you can test your knowledge and learn about our sponsors and some wonderful black owned businesses that you can patronize this holiday season and beyond. So I think right now, before we get started, I would love to know where you're all playing from today. Um, I am coming to you from South Carolina. Um, I'm gonna hang out with you in the chats tonight. I'll be cheering everybody on and also awarding the prizes. Yes, I'll be awarding the prizes. So you will need your um, order ticket number from your Eventbrite ticket. So if you don't have that on hand, uh, please go ahead and grab that and pull that up. Um, if you do not have it, it's not too late, no worries. You can go over to Eventbrite. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link in the chat. So you can go there and grab tickets. You have an order number in case you do top the leaderboards tonight. So I think we can go ahead and get started. I feel extremely fortunate to have our esteemed curriculum director hosting uh, tonight's nice event. Um, she's well, also my vivacious sister, and she's coming to us from New York City. So if we could just give her a round of applause for hosting tonight. I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to her, Dana Wheeler, our hostess with the mostest. And we'll just go ahead. I'll see you in the chat. And have a good night. There you go, Dana. Let's go. Let's start this party. I'm really excited to be here. I hope you're excited to be here. Thank you for joining us. So question one. Bessie Coleman was the first American to earn her international aviation license. She went on to teach members of the Tuskegee Airmen and ce celebrities such as the Black Pearl of Paris. Who was the intriguing pearl? Was it one, Nina May McKinney, two, Josephine Baker, three, Teresa Harris, or four, Ethel Moses? Put the number of your answer in the chat. And Monica is in the chat and give her some love in the chat as well as your answers. I can't see the chat, but I will see it after the broadcast. So get your answers locked in. Oh, okay, here we go. It's going to tabulate the results. All four of these women are famous black women, but which one is the Pearl of Paris? And our answer is Josephine Baker. Look at that, a lot of people got that one right. Good job, good way to start the game. Our next question is coming up, get ready. Inventor Frederick Jones had over 60 patents, including one for the roof mounted cooling system for refrigerating goods on trucks during transportation. For safety, cold food should be kept at or below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, or would that be one degree Celsius, six degrees Celsius, four degrees Celsius, or nine degrees Celsius? Celsius. Type in your answer. Do you know how to do that calculation? Here we go. Looking for the equivalent of 40 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's see what the correct answer is. I believe, could be wrong, but I believe that it's gonna be four degrees Celsius. Third, let's 
Let's see what the computer says. All right, it is four degrees Celsius. Congratulations if you got that one right. Good job. Some of you may have two points already. We're going to get ready for the next question. The leaderboard will tell us all at the end of the round. Here we go. Inventor Frederick Jones had over, oh, sorry, that's not the, oh, I started reading it again. Here we go. Our family shark video features Dr. Roger Young, the first black woman to earn a PhD in zoology. She researched at Marine Biological Laboratory in Woods Hole, home of America's oldest aquarium. What is a baby shark called? One, calf, two, pup, three, kid, or four, whelp? I know so many of us know the baby shark song. You hear it in your sleep. You hear it when you're doing dishes. You hear it when you're driving. But what is a baby shark called? Lock in your answers. All right, I hope you got your answer in. Let's see what the answer is. A pup, we know dogs are pups. Kids, I know there are kids that are goats. I don't know what a whelp is. Is a whelp like a disappointment? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> it's a pup. So baby shark is called a pup. Also, for people that know me, that is also like a, a nickname some of my, my family members have for me. So I don't know if that's why this question was picked, but hi to everybody that's out there. All right, get ready. Here we go. Shirley Chisholm was the first black Congresswoman who went on to run for the 1972 Democratic nomination for president. Which actress won an Emmy Award for her unbought and unbossed performance in Mrs. America? Is it Issa Rae, Tandy Newton, Uzu Adoba, or Samira Wiley? All of them on shows currently on broadcast or cable or streaming. Who played Shirley Chisholm? Get in your answers. All right, locked in. Let's see. From what I know, I know Tandy Newton is on Westworld, right? Um, Issa Rae, she's on Insecure, yes. Samira Wiley, what is she on? Star Trek? Discovery? Not sure. Oh, but we got the answer. Yuzu Adoba. It played Shirley Chisholm on Mrs. America. That shows on Hulu. Get ready for the last question on this round. Congrats if you got that one. Dr. George Carver saved the South's economy with crop rotation. Peanuts enriched the soil, creating large cotton crops. He invented and marketed 300 peanut products using the surplus nuts. What did peanuts add? One, nitrogen, two, oxygen, three, carbon dioxide, or four, organic matter. Think back. Think about how things grow and what soil needs, what plants need. (laughs) 
Lock in your answers. All right, good job. We made it to the end of round one. We're gonna see what the answer is. All of these things are really important to plant life and life in general, right? We've got oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and organic matter. And maybe you know peanuts or legumes so the answer is nitrogen. Look at all the people that got that one right. Good job for you guys and girls and others. Good job. All right, it's, this leaderboard is gonna be exciting because a lot of people got a lot of the answers right, but who was quickest on the trigger finger? Let's see. I guess I shouldn't say the trigger finger, right? So it looks like Charles, number one and kayla number two congratulations five correct answers for both so let me give you uh information on the prizes that you won for that round so the prize for round one is from jumbo jumbo book club sends children two to three beautiful high quality books each month that star a child of color and captivating stories that engage children and reinforce a love of reading. The lucky winner will receive one Jambo book box. The books come in gorgeous jam art boxes decorated in art featuring children of color. And you can see some of those books there. So congratulations for the person that got uh, the first prize. And then second prize, you're gonna get a J&J &J Fox Crafts custom rag doll. J&J &J Fox Crafts features heartfelt toys and accessories. For over a year, they have created customized assortments of dolls, boxes, accessories, and more. The products will make you and your little one smile. You're gonna get a 20 and a half inch custom rag doll from J&J &J Fox Crafts. And then all of our winners are gonna receive today a goose goose duck activity bundle for those of you who are new to our channel we here at goose goose duck introduced our youngest learners to notable black people throughout american history through animated videos we also offer activity packs that reinforce the videos with parent-led activities so all of the winners tonight will receive our four pack so congratulations Esther was also the inspiration for what iconic cartoon character? One, Betty Boop. Two, Minnie Mouse. Three, Storm or four, Orange Blossom. Lock in your answers. All right. Let's see who got those correct. I see some people joined us for round two. And as a little clue, the person's picture was on the slide for um, the countdown for round two. So let's see, Betty Boop, that is correct. Oh, look, a lot of people got that right one right as well. Good job, everybody. For the other people, good luck with the next question. We still have four questions in this round. The earliest cookbook published by a black woman was written by a member of the Black Free Society, Melinda Russell, in 1866, titled Domestic Cookbook. What recipe did not appear in the 39 page pamphlet? One, rose cake. Two, catfish fricassee. Three, sweet potato pie. Or four, sweet onion custard. Lock in your answers.
it one, two, three, or four? Okay. If you've already got your answer in, while we're waiting for the answers to be uh, counted, maybe put in the chat what your favorite thing was that you ate yesterday. Or are you tired of food? Did you cook all day and you don't want to look at food anymore? I had good food, but I did not make any of the things that are on the list. So, but what was not in that recipe? Sweet potato pie. Can you believe it? Well, Melinda was a member of the Black Free Society and she operated a pastry shop in Tennessee. And instead of rustic Southern soul food, her books, she served up complex cosmopolitan food inspired by European cuisine. So no sweet potato pie. All right, here's one. This one does not include the current election, but if I gave you five cents for every black senator in US history, what currency would I give you? A half dollar, a $5 bill, a quarter, or a dollar bill? Another math question. Lock in your answers. All right. So How many senators? So there have been 10 black senators in US history. So that would give you a clue, five cents times 10. That'll give you a clue if you are correct or not. Let's see what we get. A half dollar. Good job. A lot of people got that one as correct as well. So yeah, there's been 10 senators and I and Monica's going to put in the chat or she may have already where we got that figure from. We really use facts here at Goose Goose Duck. Next question. C.R. Patterson and Sons is the first and only black owned car company. Starting in 1873, three generations of Pattersons produced vehicles. Our video introduces the family to the B-I-N-G-O tune. What is not a line in the song? T-R-U-C-K, B-U-G-G-Y, C-A-R, beep, beep, or B-U-S, honk, honk. Maybe you heard it at the beginning. Maybe you've listened to our videos a few times and that is stuck in your head. I'm not going to sing also, so you have to imagine it yourself. Lock in your answers. All right, is it one, two, three, or four? Here we go. It's T R U C K. That is what is in the Goose Goose Duck song. So you can go back and watch that video and listen to that song. 
congrats to those of you that got that one correct. Here's our next question. Matthew Henson was a black explorer best known as the co-discoverer of the icy North Pole with Robert Edwin Perry in 1909. Which of the following makes their permanent home on the North Pole? Flamingos, two polar bears, three shrimp, or four penguins? Permanent home in the North Pole. See what your answers are. All right, locked in. All right. So I don't know if anyone said flamingos. I'm not gonna look if you if you said flamingos. Those are usually in hotter climates. Polar bears and penguins, we know definitely in cold water climates. And also shrimp. Shrimp have a permanent home in the North Pole as well. So Oh boy, we have one person that got that one correct. Good job. Shrimp are good on ice. So they, and they are in the North Pole. So, all right. So here is our leader boys. You are going to get a $40 gift card from Melanated Minds. Melanated Minds is a black empowerment and Hebrew Israelite clothing company uh, stop by for their inspirational shirts, hoodies, baby onesies, and custom clothing. Their clothing and accessories feature uplifting and truthful messages. They have a lot of great products on there. So congratulations for um, coming in first. Okay, here we go. Cataract is a clouding of the lens of the eye, making it hard to see. Dr. Patricia Bath patented the design to quickly and painlessly vaporize cataracts with lasers. The lens is directly behind what part of the eye? One, pupil. Two, retina. Three, cornea. Or four, sclera. Sclera. I cannot say this word. Sclera. I can say that word. I need to practice more. What the lens is directly behind what part of the eye? Lock in your answers. All right. Okay, so you may know this because, you know, I know in a lot of our families, cataracts, uh, you know, happen to people in our families. Um, or you may have learned about this, um, that it was uh, developed in 1984, um, the cataract laser vacro probe. See, I'm, I'm getting my words mixed up, but, oh, here we go. Cataract laser vacro probe, 1984. We got a lot of people that got that one right. Good job. It was, it is the people. If you didn't get it right, we got another question for you. Dr. Carson Woodson believed a culture without history had no inspiration. Celebrated in Frederick Douglass's and Lincoln's birth month, Carter founded Negro History Week. When is Black History celebrated in the UK? In March, February, October, or August? OK, 
get your answers in. Final seconds for this question. All right, locked in. So of course we have black history, black history. Well, there was a Negro history week and then it became a month. And we celebrate that here in February. But when do they celebrate it in the UK? In October. Good job for everybody that knew that one. We're going to go on to the next question. Legendary cowboy Robert Lemons was a highly sought Mustanger. With his earnings, he purchased land equal in size to the Philadelphia Zoo, Six Flags over Georgia, and Central Park combined. How many acres was Mr. Lemons' ranch? 1,800 acres, 600 acres, 300 acres, or 1,200 acres? Lock in your answers. These are all pretty big places. All right, last few seconds to get in your answer. All right, we're gonna find out the answer. I've been fortunate enough to go to all of these places and they're all really big. So think of all those places combined. Put in your an your answers already in, but maybe also let us know, have you been to all of these places? Which one is your favorite? I don't know which would be my favorite. All right, so are the answers 1,200 acres? Good job down there. Congratulations to you all. So a lot, a lot, a lot of space that he was able to, um, to purchase. And you can find out a lot more about him in our activity pack. Next question. According to the lyrics in Goose Goose Ducks, This Month in American History videos, the chorus raps, Black in American history is, one, needed to pass a test, two, the same song, three intertwined or four, one in the same. I know this was played in the intro. Put the number of your answer in the chat. All right, a few seconds left. Here we go, answers locked in. Again, I'm not gonna sing and I'm certainly not gonna rap. So I'm gonna straight give you the answer <laughs> when the answers get computed. <laughs> However, I'm going to be side out on you people who said needed to pass a test because that's not a good answer for anything. <laughs> All right. Thank you, people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Although no one got the answer correct, but I'm glad you didn't say needed to pass a test. The rap goes black in American history is the same song. So unfortunately, you didn't get that right. But here's the fifth question. Who is the phenomenal woman who stated, if you are always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be? One, Oprah Winfrey. Two, Maya Angelou. 
three, Pearl Bailey, or four, Zora Neale Hurston? Which of those women said that quote? I also don't do impersonations, so no clues. <laughs> and locked in. All right, locked in your answers. I think when we did, when we practiced, I did this in a really deep voice and I forgot this time. But I don't do impersonation, so. <laughs> Let's see. Who does that quote belong to? You think you got it right? Oh, a lot of you got it right. Good job. It is Maya Angelou who said that. So first prize, you are going to get the Success Game by Jazzy Gaines. The key to success is in your hand, says creator Jazzy. Success is a board game where players roll dice, spin a wheel, and pick up cards to manipulate their success. Success is a two to eight player game, and the objective is to become the first player to achieve eight successes on your combo card. And you can see that's what the game looks like. It's the ultimate new family board game that allows players to socialize and really connect with one another while strategizing and having fun. A great game to have now that we're all together with our families and a great way to teach um, your, your kids about what success could be for them. And then our second prize is a book bundle from Dana Clark LLC. Dana Clark LLC creates children's products that empower children with activities of self-confidence and supply them with journaling tools that depict positive self images. Creator JD Wright values inclusion and self-love, allowing children to see themselves as heroes celebrated in the books. Her fourth book is geared towards grown-ups. So color and journal in harmony with positive images and inspire, inspiring journaling pages. Also included in the book bundle are Princess Planet books by Israel Cook. The series features true cultural diversity so our daughters can see themselves, their friends, and their classmates as princesses. Please make sure you put your order number in the chat. And of course, all winter winners will also get a four pack of activities. With our activity packs, we like to keep learning fun. We are rolling out monthly packs in 2021. Uh, who is the most photographed American of the 19th century? Is it? Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Edison, Frederick Douglass, or Robert E. Lee? Locked in. So while we we're at intermission, um, his picture was up on the screen. And although you only saw the back of his head, you probably saw his signature hair um, in his Cedar Hill library. And that was, of course, Frederick Douglass. Did you guess the Frederick Douglass? A lot of people did. Good luck. Good job. Good job. He did think it was important to make sure he, his image was out there. Next question. In the Goose Goose Duck Kids animation, Dr. Rebecca Cole taught about the human body with what popular song? Leg bone connected to the knee bone, head, shoulders, knees and toes, 
the body parts song or the hokey pokey? Okay, your answer is ready. It could be any of those, maybe. But which one is used in our auto animation? I can hear it in my head now. A few seconds left to lock in your answer. All right. Answer is locked in. All of these are pretty popular songs to teach people and kids about body parts. But which one? What is adapted in the Gus, Gus, Goose Goose Duck video? Here comes the answer. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. That one is correct. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. <clears throat> Next question coming up. Bandmaster Francis Johnson was the first Black American to publish sheet music and tour abroad. The first American to promote his concerts in newspapers and handbills also. Which scandalous dance was enjoyed by thousands of concert goers? One, swing. Two, waltz. Three, tango. Or four, lindy hop. What time period are we talking about? Get your answers in. All right, here we go. Lock them in. So um, Francis Johnson published 300 compositions between 1820 and 1840. And he also introduced promenade concerts in Philadelphia and advertised them as musical so soirees for everybody. And so the answer was waltz, waltz. Baseball legend Hank Aaron beat Babe Ruth's all-time home run record. His motto was to always keep swinging, whether in a slump, feeling badly, or having trouble off the field. How did Hammer and Hank practice as a kid? Tied a handkerchief around his eyes when hitting. Did not start playing baseball until his early teens. Three, hit a bottle cap with a broomstick. Or four, practiced high and the practiced hand eye coordination with Atari baseball. Let's see. Those could all work, I'm sure. All right, locked in. I doubt it was Atari baseball, right? I think I was alive when Atari came out. I don't think that would have helped him. All right, if you said three, hit a bottle cap with a broomstick, you were correct. 
That is what he did. Bottle caps are small and broomsticks are broomsticks are also small. All right, next question. Last question of the round. Civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. majored in sociology at Morehouse College in Atlanta. How old was he when he enrolled in college? 15, 13, 17, or 19? Last question of this round. Might put you in a running for a prize. Get your answers in. A few seconds left. All right. So let's let's see. Nineteen. That's pretty. That's a pretty typical age to enter college. So was 17. 13 is very young. And 15 is pretty young too. So when did he enroll in Morehouse College? Look at that. Everybody got it right. Good job. 15. 15 years old. Excellent job, everybody. Well, this leaderboard is going to be very interesting. Let's see who's at the top and who's in second. Um, here's our, our first place prize is for Black Ink from Black Ink Games. You will receive a $60, $60 gift card from Black Ink Games. Thank you, Black Ink Games. They have everything you need for the gamer in your life. On a journey to provide products and services with gamers and not corporations in mind, they found the core of the company should be a good experience. What do you need to have the best gaming sessions? A great game, reliable system, customized pieces, and collectibles that show off your commitment. So congrats for that If you uh, for the first place. And second place, you're going to get a $25 gift card from A Shade by the Bay book reseller that specializes in African-American and multicultural children's books for all ages. And you will also receive a four pack of Goose Goose Duck activity packs. So please make sure you put your order number in the chat so that you can receive your prize. Physicist George Carruthers invented the spectrograph NASA used when it launched Apollo 16. The space scientist built his first working telescope at age 10. How many animal constellations could he map in the night sky? 12, 8, 15, or 28? Get your answers in. Let's see. Got a little bit of time. All right, lock it in. So there's in total, there's 88 constellations in the night sky. 15 are animals, not including the eight birds. So if you said 15, you are correct. All right. Good job. 12 is close. But the answer was 15. 
Good job, everybody. Here we go, next question. Dr. Mae Jemison, the first black woman in space, encourages to never be limited to other people's limited imaginations. Who was the first black astronaut to walk in space? Joan Higginbotham, two, Bernard Harris Jr., three, Ronald McNair, or four, Frederick Gregory? These are all astronauts. Who was the first black astronaut to walk in space? Look in your answers, only a few seconds left. All right. What do you think? I mean, I know the answer because I have it here. Um, let's see. I have the answer is Bernard Harris Jr. All right. Good job, everybody. Everybody got answers in on time. Get ready for our next question. Ida B. Wells wielded words like weapons as a journalist and activist. She led a crusade with groundbreaking data journalism. How many five letter words can be made out of the letters in her name, Ida B. Wells? If you're able to figure this out in 60 seconds, I commend you. <laughs> you can try. All right, get your best guesses in. Get ready to lock in your answers. All right. So the easy way to figure this out is to go to the website that's, that is gonna be posted or is posted in the chat from workmaker.info and you will see that there are 73 words inside Ida B. Wells' name. All right, we had some, the answer spaced out, but some people guessed it correctly. How many can you think of right now before we get to the next question? Pre-Civil War, Augustus Jackson invented a better ice cream recipe that melted slower. He made flavors and sold tins to black confection shops to become a wealthy man. In 2020, what is America's favorite ice cream flavor? Is it one, vanilla, two, chocolate, three, butter pecan, or four, mint chocolate chip? What is America's favorite ice cream flavor now? Hmm. 10 seconds, less than 10 seconds for your answers. All right, lock them in. So um, we did get this answer from bhg.com. 
think we're going to put that link in the chat. I like all these flavors. So I don't know what America likes, but I mean, I know the answer. The answer is chocolate. Surprisingly enough, that's a favorite flavor right now. So yay for chocolate. I probably would have guessed vanilla though, honestly, if you're talking about all of America, but America likes chocolate this year. Last question of the round. George Washington, George Washington Carver's intellect was highly regarded. Which of the following did Dr. Carver not officially advise during his lifetime? One, Indian independence leader Mahatma Gandhi. Two, founder of the Ford Motor Company, Henry Ford. Three, United States President Theodore Roosevelt, or four, Soviet leader Joseph Stalin. Who did he not officially advise? Lock in your answers, only a few seconds left. Here we go. Time is up. You thought there was gonna be a peanut question, didn't you? Especially after the ice cream question, but no, it got switched up on you. So he was he was invited by all of these um, leaders to um, advise them on different matters. Um, and he was asked by Joseph Stalin, but he did not take that invitation. All right. And isn't it also interesting that all of these people were alive at the same time? The way we learn history, it's like this happened, this and this happened, and this happened, and this happened. But some things are all going on at one time. And they were all alive in, the, in this at the same time, some overlap. Is the Amazingly Brown Kit and My Magical Hair Children's Book by the bias adjuster, Dr. Bentley Gibson. Dr. Gibson educates and informs individuals, families, social and professional groups on what it means to be biased, to have biases, and bias as a definition. And uh, Dr. Gibson also offers diversity training workshops for children and adults in the greater Atlanta area, if you were down there. So you're gonna get a kit from Dr. Gibson. And our second place winner is going to get a book bunder from Dana Clark LLC, which includes a journaling notebooks for adults and children, and also the book, uh, The Princess, Princess Planet books by Israel Cook. So congrats to you. Also, um, we're going to go into our last round. I hope everybody's having a great time. I'm having a great time. Um, but we are going to go into our last round. Um, Monica's going to put a link in the chat. Um, it's going to be, it's going to link to a survey. Um, please take a moment to fill out those three quick questions. Everyone that answers will be put in a drawing. Also, if you want to teach your kids more about the people we talked about today, um, you can head on over to our Patreon page, and that is Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-N.com slash Goose Goose Duck. We help you keep learning fun. All of the people that that are um, we had questions about come from our activities or from our videos. So you definitely want to if if there were people you didn't know about or that you're, you you want to learn more about or you want your kids to learn more about, definitely um, we have great ways to do that at Goose Goose Duck. One month is not enough, let's do it year long. American and black history, now that's the same song. So let's do it all year and we gon' stay strong. Now if you feel the way I feel, then help me sing this song.
Did you know so many great people came before us? Knew. To keep their legacy alive, we just can't ignore can't it. Ignore so it. listen up, we're gonna uncover the mysteries. Yeah. This month in American history. Gwendolyn Brooks, yeah, she had just what it took to go down in history for her poetry book. She knew what she wanted, determined to succeed. Tenacity and dedication qualities we need. By age 13, she was published in the magazine. 75 points by the age of 16. Free verse style, sonnets and ballads. Gwendolyn Brooks, what a remarkable talent, yeah. Did you know so many great people came before us To keep their legacy alive, we just can't ignore it So listen up, we're gonna uncover the mysteries This month in American history Talent so good, couldn't go unnoticed She won awards for her work as a great poet Her poetry book, Annie Allen rose to fame Won a Pulitzer Prize, it was critically acclaimed Now writing was her passion, it brought her success She followed her passion to become one of the best Didn't know how great all of her work would come to be Gwendolyn Brooks is going down in history, yeah did you know so many great people came before us to keep their legacy alive? We just can't ignore it. So listen up, we're gonna uncover the mysteries this month in American history. History. Let's go. Yeah, more actors. Traffic light on the corner shining bright. Red means stop, green means go, yellow means drive very slow, slow, slow. Twinkle, twinkle, the traffic light on the corner shining bright. Twinkle, twinkle, the traffic light on the corner shining bright. Twinkle, twinkle, shining bright. Morgan made the warning light. Red means stop, green means go, yellow means drive very slow, slow, slow. Twinkle, twinkle, shining bright. Garrett Morgan. Ready, right? Twinkle, twinkle, shining bright. Got it, got it. Ready, right? Twinkle, twinkle, traffic light on the corner, shining bright. Red means stop, green means go, yellow means try very slow, slow, slow. Twinkle, twinkle, the traffic light. On the corner, shining bright, twinkle, twinkle, the traffic light. On the corner, shining bright. <laughs> Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. 
Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, hip and lip, hip and lip. Head, shoulders, hip and lip, hip and lip. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, chin and shin, chin and shin. Head, shoulders, chin and shin, chin and shin. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. You're more at kooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskooskoo
Did you know so many great people came before us? To keep their legacy alive, we just can't ignore it. So listen up, we're gonna uncover the mysteries. This month in American history. Jan met Zelliger, he was a great inventor. March of 1883, he was a real winner. He invented the lasting machine that helped make shoes faster than anyone had ever seen. Determined to do it, he saw room for improvement. He used the knowledge that he had, he never gave up through it. Now he's a true legend, a young pioneer. Correct. Black Romantic Bugs is the first and only subscription box designed to cre increase math confidence and decrease math anxiety in girls on a third grade, third to eighth grade math level. We cater to your girl wherever she is on her math journey. The curated box will unlock math skills and confidence with her black girl math thick box that she'll use everywhere with a monthly themed engaging math experience, especially for her. So that's what our first prize winner will get for that round. Our second prize winner is going to get a Black Boy, Black Boy bundle. You will get a signed copy of Black Boy, Black Boy, a powerful book created to teach Black boys there are no barriers. If you can dream it, you can be it. You will also receive the Black Boy, Black Boy 40-piece puzzle. Amazing. So something for, for the girls and something for boys in that round. And of course, you will both get a four pack of activities from Goose Goose Duck. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, we're gonna do a wrap up. If you won, please make sure you put your order number in the chat so Monica can send you your prize. I wanna really thank all of you today for coming. I hope you had fun. If you had fun, give a give give us some love in the chat. Especially give Monica some love. She's been typing like a maniac there in the chat for us and, and making sure keeping the control room up. Um, I hope you had fun. I had a good time. And a huge thank you to our sponsors that made all of these prizes possible. Um, also, um, I hope the survey is in the chat. The survey is going to give us a little bit of information um, that we need, that we'd like to see about this, uh, how this went today, and about Goose Goose Duck. Um, big, big round of applause for Monica Dorsey for putting this game and the Goose Goose Duck, uh, all of the activities and, and the videos together. Um, you can visit our site at goosegooseduck.com and our YouTube page also. And Black history is American history. So if you want to learn more about the people that were included in this game and more, of course, visit our site. If you want to teach your children with fun hands-on activities, you will also find out how to buy Goose Goose Duck activity packs on our website, of course. Um, I really hope everyone enjoys your weekend. I really can't stress enough how much uh, we appreciate you coming and supporting uh, this game and supporting our channel. Thank you for being part of our community. And I hope everybody has a great weekend. Big round of applause. Thanks so much. <laughs>